Letter 157 Take care for your salvation without being hindered by what others will say. September 20, 1892 Sister in the Lord, Mother M., I received your letter. I am not resigning from myself writing you letters, but what am I to do? Out of necessity sometimes I will have to entrust someone else with it, like this time, on account of my weakness and illness. May the Lord help you to peacefully endure the afflictions which are befalling you. Such is the path of friends of God, to pass the days of this fleeting life in constriction and tribulations, in order to inherit eternal blessedness with all the saints. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, Psalm 33, 19. Many are the scourges of the sinners, says the psalmist, but mercy shall encircle him that hopes in the Lord, Psalm 31, 10. In your patience possessed ye your souls, Luke 21, 19. And it is only he that shall endure unto the end who shall be saved. Matthew 24, 13. As you have been writing simply and straightforwardly, so continue to write. Do not listen to the demon of vainglory concerning what others might think of you. Let each attend to himself. The enemy of man's salvation never spares but wounds people in various ways. It is enough for each to attend to his own salvation and see to the healing of his wounds without analyzing the political situation, without worrying about what others might think. You can see from your own experience what manner of warfare and how great an army is raised up against our infirmity. Except the Lord guard the city, in vain do they labor that build it. Psalm 126, 1, 2 But God is our helper and protector. So let us not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by day. Psalm 95 Let Israel hope in the Lord, and he shall redeem him out of all his iniquities. Psalm 129.5.6 A postscript in Father Anatoly's own hand. You write of unspeakable spiritual joy after communion of the holy mysteries of Christ. The all-good Lord knows how to comfort his servants who often faint beneath the burden of tribulations, so that in future also they would not become despondent and faint-hearted, but trust in God's mercy. Do not use cleverness in prayer, but go about it more simply. The Lord said, Except ye become as little children, ye cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Matthew 18.3 Do not let it disturb you that I do not always write personally. Father V has written for Father Ambrosi for many years. He has experience. However, I will, of course, write the more important ones.